We know from the last video that a power series will always converge wherever it's centered. So we can at least begin there. But in this video, I want to look at where else could a power series converge. So like this is a, a general, um, pretty, pretty generic power series, a sub n times x minus c to the n, that's centered at c. So I, I know that it, it converges here, but how far, if any, can I move to the left and to the right and this power series still converge for certain x values? So it turns out there's three options. I want, just want to share those with you in this video. For a power series centered at c, then either, number one, the series converges only at C. This is an option. Maybe it, it converges at a center, but if you stepped to the left or to the right any, it would not converge any longer, right? So maybe it doesn't converge here. So maybe your power series is centered at four, but if you move to let X be 4.1, that series wouldn't converge, or 3.9, that series wouldn't converge. But it, it always has to converge at a center but maybe that's the only place where the series converges. All right, number two, uh, this is, in my opinion, probably the most common situation. It, it converges at a center, but usually there is some, what you might call radius, some, some reach, some distance that you can move to the left of C and to the right of C, and it'll converge absolutely even, that's a stronger type of convergence, It'll converge on C minus that radius up to C plus that radius. And so here, if I just kind of draw just kind of a, a general distance here, uh, this will be like C minus some value up to C plus some value. And it'll converge everywhere on that interval. But once you go beyond that interval, it'll no longer converge. Uh, so here's a simple example that we could see right off the bat. If you had the sum of x to the n, then this will converge as long as x is between plus or minus 1 because it looks like a geometric series. But once you go past 1, it'll diverge. You know, For instance, if you add it up 2 to the n, 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32, clearly that'll diverge if you go too far past 1. All right, uh, let's see. Um, this is a very common one. Oh, and uh, I also have one other little comment to add to number two here. It might, and I say might, converge at the endpoints as well. It'll definitely converge on C minus R to C plus R, but possibly also at the endpoints as well. Now, it's you kind of have to just check, check these separately, check these independently of one another because uh, it could be either way. It could converge at the left endpoint, but diverge at the right endpoint. It might converge at both. It might diverge at both. You literally have to take these X's, plug them into your series, and see if that particular series converges or not. Uh, and there's a third option, one last case. Maybe it, can, uh, it converges at a center. Maybe it'll converge to the left and to the right of your center. But maybe the, the reach or the radius is so big, it actually goes to infinity and would converge for any x value, which is certainly possible. There are power series that will converge or add to a finite number for any given x value. So the series converges absolutely for all x. And so if you wanted to write this in kind of a shorthand style, then you could say this. You could say for, for number one, you could say capital R equals zero, like that's your, your reach, so to speak. For the third one, you could say that the radius was infinity, right? You, the, um, and matter of fact, this, this even has a name, this R value right here. This is what's known as the radius, and I'll actually put this in your notes in a minute, radius of convergence. It's pretty obvious why it's called that but your radius would be zero in the first case, the radius would be infinity in the uh, third case, and then the radius would be just some finite number for the second case, whatever that, that number may be. All right, uh, let's end with just a couple observations. Uh, some of these I've said before, the endpoints have to be checked manually, in, individually from one another. 
So keep that in mind. Uh, capital R is what we call the radius of convergence. Now, the radius of convergence will tell you what your interval of convergence is. Now, it's not automatic. You have to check the endpoints. Uh, but I'll just here's a just a quick example. If your uh, center was five and your radius of convergence was one, then the interval of convergence would go from four to six. That's one to the left of five and one to the right of five. But I would need to check the endpoints to see if it was closed at four and open at six, or open at four and closed at six or closed at four and closed at six, you would have to check those endpoints separately to really say what the interval of convergence is. And then kind of the, the one of the big questions left unanswered that I haven't talked about yet, and we'll, we'll show this plenty when we do examples, is how do you find, like, you know, pencil to paper, how do you actually find the radius of convergence? If I handed you a series, what tool do you use to actually figure out where these guys converge or diverge. Well, by far, my favorite test is to use the ratio test. Remember when we were talking about the ratio test, when we were discussing convergence of infinite series, the ratio test was a good universal test that works almost all the time. Uh, now, it's not the only test you could use, but it works in a, a vast majority of these convergence problems. So I would say anytime you can, use the ratio test to figure out the radius of convergence and the interval of convergence and all those sorts of things. All right, so uh, now we're gonna move into working some examples out. Um, this was obviously a little bit more heavy on the theory and kind of explaining side of things. Uh, hopefully I have a little bit better understanding about power series and how they converge and when they converge and diverge. But, uh, but next we'll be moving on to some examples where we'll actually put a lot of this stuff in practice.